This collection is all about a California dreaming meets sexy meets romance. I want to move back to a wedding gown, that you do have a true essence of a wedding gown. A very fresh, young, timeless, beautiful gown. I am delighted at all the different kinds of brides around the world who wear Berta. Each bride is exciting and every bride is like an entire world to me. The starting point was actually the end of my wedding and this time I just had a blast because I was kind of continuing the celebration of it. We've spoken to the designer Rita. She wants something more the late 60 with a bouncy texture, losing wavy, but with a little urban elegant texture. So me and my team we're trying to create a like a low match, the losing wavy, but also the sand town with a slightly greasy texture. Organic. Organic urban 70, course over 20. 20th century, I would say the in between two. Natural texture. For this generation, most of the girls are looking for a more natural because they're trying to show us up there more their self compared with the elegant traditional way. Like usually we have to braid up the hair like very, very old school. But I been we've been working out a lot of the different way, more like their self. So I would say that's the 2016 what we're looking for. the collection we had um, gold and silver is a really big color uh, for bridal season this um, you know this spring summer so we gave it a little bit of that gold and the silver sparkled elongating the eyes um, along with like really pretty um, 70s we were inspired by with this eyeliner that was um, it also has a little bit of a bronze and a gold theme to it we worked really closely with Rita we also worked with her um, you know her production team we kind of gathered her inspiration which is very romantic with beautiful silhouettes and then we just created um, you know we were really ba uh, big and for this season on the 70s so you would see a lot of um, you know that inspiration with the ma both makeup and also with her collection. This collection is all about a California dreaming meets sexy meets romance. It's a mix of soft sensual silhouettes um, with um, an exploration of a little bit of chaos through all the textures, um, through the layering of laces, the floral elements in it, and giving it a really easy vibe. There's a, a poem by Matt Baker, um, and it goes, True chaos grows from the garden of your soul where wildflowers grow. And when I read that, I just kind of thought, oh my gosh, that's so great. And I'm, I wanted to do something 70s based, and that just sort of brought it all together. Because when you look at a dress, there's a little bit of chaos in its structure, the way it comes together. So I explore the chaos in every dress through putting as many elements as possible in a really calm and gentle way. So every dress speaks about itself. It has a little bit of a garden element, but in a wildflower sort of way. There's chaos when you look at it, but when she walks, in it, it's gentle and it's calm, it's sensual, it's beautiful. Completely representative of the wedding day because it is chaotic, your mind's everywhere, but then when she's walking, it's a breath of fresh air, it's beautiful, it's tranquil, it's at ease. Really good collection. I love the, the last dress with the, the, the skirt was amazing. The t-shirt top it was really cool. There's a lot of variety too, which is good for everyone. I love that she has a little variation, a lot of different styles, a lot of different silhouettes for a lot of different brides, which is what I think people want to see nowadays. Like know there's variety out in the market and that they can kind of have a lot of different things going on when they come to their wedding. In this 
collection, it's all about translucent and transparent materials. Um, there's a lot of organzas, there's subtle hints of color, there's laces with floral elements to it, there's a lot of layering of laces, and then all the beading that I did is very gentle and, um, and mild, there's nothing heavy. It's all about creating sort of like a shimmery effects with floral elements on top of fabrication. There is an amazing, just really simple sheath with a plunging V-neckline and we did these wonderful gilets with um, fringes, beaded fringes on them and it's just magnificent. It's just, it speaks 70s, it speaks California Dreamer, it speaks ease, it's, it's quite brilliant. The trends are um, layering of body veils, um, gilets, so that you have something to walk down the aisle with and then something to take off and have underneath. We've got a lot of froth and texture done in a very gentle and easy way. I look for a little like authenticity as well as like originality. I need something that will stand out that our readers will kind of say they haven't seen before, that they can kind of mimic and make their own for their days. The bride that wears my designs is a woman that is looking for something that has some fashionability in it. She loves fashion and she wants to be fashionable on her wedding day, but at the same time she wants to be classic. So when I'm designing, I try to keep in mind all the classic silhouettes and elements and I infuse a little bit of fashion in every single collection. I would advise brides when they're choosing their gowns to really like open up that door of opportunity and try on things that they might not think that they're interested in because on your wedding day you're sort of like restricted sometimes with all the pictures that you see with through social media so I think it's important to just experiment and try things on that you might not be thinking you'd be wearing you'd be quite surprised. The first dress might not be actually the one, but I have to say that when you do find the dress, you'll never forget it. We're doing a very soft, tight, smoky eye with a little liquid liner. And for the lips, we're doing a Lancome lip conditioner with a nude lip pencil, followed by a very sheer red lip, which has been a huge trend throughout all of 2016. So right now we're just conditioning our lips. So we're gonna do the, the sheer lipstick. And then just very light blush, very clean skin. We want it to look very fresh, youthful for Peter Langner's show. And doing like a soft ch chanyon in the back with the girl so it looks like a sophisticated soft look with the dress look more standing. Simple, like soft and nice look so it looks young, young look for the ladies, yeah, romantic. I, I want to move back to a wedding gown. I don't want to make party dresses. I mean, we do party dresses and we show them today, but I really want to go back that you do have a true essence of a wedding gown, a very fresh, young, timeless, beautiful gown. I know it sounds a little bit normal, but I really don't want to make costumes. So I do not want to make spectacular things. I really want that you have a beautiful wedding gown, which you're really happy and proud of being wearing and using and having that image for the rest of your life. I 
I thought it was lovely I with the evening wear and the color. I know a lot of the uh, boutiques and buyers that are here at market are buying evening for the mothers of the bride and uh, the mothers of the groom. So that's a nice add-on to the old collection. Inspiration, we started actually with a beautiful um, exhibition here in New York, the Alberto Burri exhibition at the Guggenheim Museum, which was amazing, really stunning. And we started with that because they, they, there was a lot of fabric treatments, there's a lot of transformation of surfaces. And uh, I love that. That's just, we do a lot of things in house, all by hand. We shred fabrics, we fold fabrics, and we transform it so it becomes a different surface and a different look. His dresses are rich and fantastic and full of fantasy and three-dimensional and flowing and full of dynamism and movement. We try to do a little bit the same thing with our jewelry, but in an extremely controlled and disciplined way, of course. This is fine jewelry and it's very expensive and it can't go all over the place. It has to be constructed with great care. Uh, Mr. Langner mentioned that the inspiration for this collection is a visit that he took to the Guggenheim Museum where he was very inspired by an Italian artist by the name of Burri who works with different textures and does very architectonic work and our fine jewelry ties in very wonderfully. Bridal collection, most of it is all constructed fabrics. You know, I come from a really more workroom background rather than designing background. So we have a lot of architectural fabrics, file, silk file, magnolia, mikado, organza, so shantong, so very constructed materials. And then we transform them, we pleat them, we fold them, we mix them together. We have overlays of tools to make them very light. You know, you still have a constructed stiff gown where with the tool overlay it becomes just very young, very ethereal. Peter Langner is really a talented designer. The construction of those dresses, the lines on the dresses, the way they make the, the dress fit the curves of the figure, it's really amazing. You know, you had a lot more of traditional looks, a lot more Grace Kelly kind of inspired looks. He had the dresses with the high necks, with kind of like that corded fabric that looked like a modern lace instead of traditional lace. So he really kind of upped it for that girl that really wants to be modern 21st century bride, but still wants a nod to the traditional or classic. Peter Lettner did a great job. Definitely went away from party looks. We really want to have a more ceremonial look. We really want to have a true wedding gown. We, we do party dresses, evening gowns, but not for the weddings. Weddings should be a true wedding gown. Timeless, beautiful dress where you can say, after 10 years, 15 years, I'm still so proud that I, what I wore. Peter Langer just did a gorgeous classical collection. He had looks at, that was very Grace Kelly inspired, very beautiful, very regal. I mean, favorite wedding, you know, obviously there's always the first wedding gown I ever made and I'm still in touch with their family. I still see them, I still talk to them. Where they, I've made, in the meantime, many other dresses for the same family. I'm very proud and really grew, I grew up with that first bride, that first wedding gown. I mean, I have a very particular chiffon gown and uh, so we, cut very small little pieces in chiffon, we fold them and then they become little bricks, they become little pieces and then we put the pieces together and then you sew them, it's an embroidered dress but you really don't really understand until these pieces break apart and then they open up again into petals So and then it floats. So again the transformation onto one thing and make it become something else, that's really what I think is the smartest idea in the collection I think, I hope. Peter Langer Bride, really, she does her research. She knows what she wants. I think she's a very strong woman. She owns her own money. She knows how to spend it, which where she goes. So she really does a lot of you know research online with some of the good stores she knows. And um, when she put on on our gown, you really feel maybe the difference because it's again with the construction of how you feel in the dress, not of how only how you look from the outside, because that's really decoration, but how you feel, and that makes a little bit of the difference between. Um, 
it was such a beautiful show. The music, uh, the models, all of the intricate details of all of the gowns, the precision, uh, elegance, uh, very chic couture components, especially in the rose colored dress that came with the incredible capelets and soft bell sleeves with tulle. Really interesting architectural in an essence, but kind of old world fashion, uh, glamour. So many advices you can give, but in the end it really has to come from your heart. So you can listen and you can read a lot, but you have to feel the dress. And you have to do that all by yourself. You know, stay away from taking too many pictures during your try-ons because you get the wrong impression. It is not you, it is not your dress, it's not made for you. And you get the wrong address, you can might walk away from the right dress just because it wasn't fitting properly or you just took a bad picture, the light was wrong, you had just a bad day and your makeup is not the same day. Um, you know, social media can be very good and the pictures can be very good, but they can end up as well as a boomerang and you're not so happy. So I would say trust your instinct, Try, trust your heart, that's really the best. The look today is very sultry, very Forest Princess. Um, the designer was really inspired actually by her models. They're so beautiful. So she wanted something modern and fresh, um, but very clean, but also that made a statement. We didn't want to take away from the dresses, of course, but we also wanted the models to look very sultry princesses. So it all comes together really nicely with this look. The look is very romantic, very glam and sexy. There are many combinations of fabrics, a lot of unique techniques used to create a very special variety. All of the fabrics are imported and are exclusive to my house. I mix fabrics, I paint them, I bring the fabrics to the special place I imagine for them. I want a dream dress that no one has ever seen before. It's a very unique creation, labored over intensively. I actually built my brand through like celebrity headpieces. And Berta came up to me and they saw my work and they wanted me to do this moment for them for this show. So they're all like headbands with the classic Ro Mordecai rose. And I did it in rose gold this season for them. I think the gowns are so sensual and I, I think the headpiece kind of ties the whole thing together. is beautiful. You really have the option with Berta to have that kind of sultry, sexy look and really show off that figure you've been working on. My bride likes to feel sexy but not provocative. She likes to emphasize the curves of her body. She's a bride who wants to look like a million dollars on her special day. A chic bride. This is my style. little bit of coverage, there was a little capelet that they had, which is really great because a lot of girls, they want the second look for the reception that's sexy where they can be a little bit more covered and modest for the ceremony. So having that capelet that you can have for one and then take off so you can be sexy without the expense of a second dress, that's huge with brides and Berta really pulled that off nicely. I cut the fabric and break it into different elements. I then put it all back together in the look that I want. I take many different kinds of textures and bring them together in a unique way, with special linings and special colors, like nude, beige, and skin tone. A special color palette which creates a unique harmony. I really loved one of the dresses that had this kind of beading and this ornate pattern that you could kind of see underneath the tool so it continued where the waistline started. It was a little bit like an ice skater. You kind of thought like, you know, rip it off and you have a whole like look going on there because you had that kind of traditional tool, very like princessy look, but with that sparkle coming out for underneath it for fun. It takes me about a year to work on a collection. It's a very long time between each collection. A dress takes us about three weeks to a month to create. The 
girl who would wear a Berta dress is very modern and she's sexy and she really just wants to have a great time on her wedding day. I am delighted at all the different kinds of brides around the world who wear Berta. Each bride is exciting and every bride is like an entire world to me. She should feel like a million dollars. She should feel like she is emitting all of the beauty in the world and this is her dress. starting point was actually the end of my wedding. So I think last year was a little bit more vulnerable and this time I just had a blast because I was kind of continuing the celebration of it. So it was a lot of fun. Very happy collection. novelties. So I really think that's like the Haley Page vernacular is doing stuff that's a little offbeat and still upbeat. So you'll see some hints of polychromatic color, of course some shades of like a natural alabaster and some pinks. And then in terms of textures, I did a lot of stuff with applique work and almost some like laser pressed rhinestones. is to not overthink it. I think a lot of times you get stuck in the conformities of it and feeling like you have to please other people. But at the end of the day, like it should come almost be like you're falling in love. It, you should just put it on and feel like you're glowing and it should be that simple. So it's kind of like falling in love. favorite because it's like picking a favorite child so I can't really like say that but I always love a good finale dress so hopefully that one is a good wow factor for the end of the collection. <laughs>